<sighs> Just wanted to have some fun. I mean, thank you for watching this far. Uh, I didn't expect this these videos to be so long, but anyway, we'll keep pushing forward. Um, I might as well say it now. You know what? Um, I didn't want to make a big deal about it when I had 1,000 subscribers. Uh, it, you know, to me, I was like, wow, you know, I didn't, I didn't expect my channel to grow to that point. So then I was like, wow, and this is early days, right? This is really, really early. And then it hit 2,000 subscribers. So I was like, again, oh, wow, okay. So this is during the Philippine series. I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm hitting 2,000. But now I'm at 3,000 subscribers. So this is just a snapshot in time. You might watch this video much, much later and maybe it's grown more. But a sincere thank you to all the subscribers. And the viewers, so that, that means the people who aren't even subscribed yet. I do appreciate it, even if you're not subscribed. So, please subscribe now, if you haven't done it already, and, you know, support the channel. Alright? But, um, okay, so you've all been really good. I'm going to share some funny stories. So, some of you may be interested in this. So, this is all Philippines. So, if you're Pinoy, you're Filipina, okay, you're going to enjoy this, right? And especially a lot of it has to do with, I'm, a, I'm from Australia, you know, I have a Chinese background, but I grew up in Australia. And it just the, the cultural difference, you know, like, so I'll, I'll get started. So I'm silly, I'm in Makati, right? It's one of the main roads, I can't remember which one it was, Kalyan Avenue or whatever, it's one of the main roads and it's eight lanes. So you got four this way, four this way. Eight lanes, all this traffic, you know, wow, you know. And I'm the crazy foreigner, I'm running across the, the highway. So. And this is right in Makati City, like in the CBD, in the where the skyscrapers are. So, you know, it's a busy road and I'm jumping across and this traffic cop sees me. He goes, hey, blows the whistle. Come in. And he's wearing his big hat and he's got the police uniform. Like, oh no, I'm going to get arrested. I'm in trouble. And he says, ID. That's all he says, ID. So I pulled out my ID and I had my Australian driver's license. So that was very common to carry. You've got to have photo ID uh, in a lot of Southeast Asia, certainly Philippines. So he's looking at my ID and, and he's writing me a ticket. He's writing me a fine and I went, oh no, I'm going to get a fine. And he, and he said, sir, jaywalking, very bad. I'm going to fine you for jaywalking. So he's copying my ID and he goes, oh, Australiano. Australiano, meaning like, you're Australian. I went, yeah, because it says Australian driver's license. And he goes, oh, gives my ID back. He tears up the fine. He was so nice. And he goes, sir, you know, English? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, English is good. And he said, sir, you, you cannot just run across the highway. though. You'll die. You'll get hit by a car. He said, you're a tourist. I went, yeah. And he goes, you know, I want you to have a good time. I want you to be safe, please. So he tore up the fine. I said, what about the fine? He goes, no, no fine. It's okay. He put it away. He said, it's okay. He said, please be careful, okay? I, some of these cars may not see you or they don't care. They'll hit you. And, he's, and this is a good tip. He said, you know, you can look. There's usually signs like when the arrow going down, it looks like a subway sign or arrow sign. It's actually for an underpass. So instead of running across the highway, you go down the underpass, okay? Um, so yeah, a bit of a tip there. It's illegal to jaywalk in Philippines. You can get hit by a fine and also look for an underpass. So even some of these underpasses were really dark. I even had a flashlight thinking, you know, I'm going to get robbed down here and it was fine. It was fine. And there's other people walking through and that's it. But certainly be careful. Um, okay, the nun from Takloven, so some of you may have seen the Cebu video, go check it out if you haven't, but uh, she was so funny, so how we hooked up at the airport, we're in Manila airport getting in flights to Cebu, and she's this nun in front of me, and she's got this huge trolley with luggage cases, and she's got two, two backpacks on, one on her chest, one on her back, oh look at this nun, she's got so much luggage, you know, and she's pushing it, and then she went to check it in, right? And she put it together and she tied string. She tied her luggage together and I was like, what is she doing? And she's tying it up. And then she checked it in and goes, see, one luggage tied together. It's one luggage. Only, she only wanted to pay once, right? And the girl, she was saying, nice. the girl at the check-in, she was like, oh, sister, you know, addressing her respectfully, sister, but you cannot do this because it'll fall apart and... It's not safe and then we'll lose tracking because we have to track each one. So if you lose your luggage, we won't know which one you lost. She says, no, it's one luggage. And she goes, sister, I'll give you a discount. She said, don't worry, I'll give you a discount. You're like, you know, a charity discount because she's part of the church. And she goes, oh, okay, okay. And then that's why I was standing behind the nun and that's why I was like, sister Ludus. I go, sister Ludus, how about I just give you a hand? You know, and she goes, what do you mean? I said, look. What's this thing? And she was my violin. So I went, okay, I'll carry your violin. 
So I'm carrying the violin and we're becoming friends and we're talking, talking, talking. Like we're talking in the line, lining up for the flights. So we we're already built a relationship. And I'm carrying other bags, you know, I'm helping her. And then the, we got separated at the airport security. <laughs> so I went straight through. I mean, like I put the violin and everything and I went through, I was fine. You know, no problems. And because she was a nun in the robes, there was a couple of cases I found out later where people had pretended to be nuns and were smuggling drugs. You know, hiding it underneath the uniform, the robes. So they made her go through like five times. So they, they go, sister, we're sorry, you have to go through again. She goes, why? And they said, something's not right, you know. So she has to take off her, you know, her beads. And she goes, I'm not taking off my robe. So I'm not getting naked, you know. And they made her keep going through and through. And I was just, I was just laughing. She was like the troublemaker holding up the whole security. But anyway, so finally she gets out, all sitting down. And then she's like, huh, what happened to the foreigner? He stole my, my violin. <laughs> And I just tricked her, you know, I got up and went, ha ha, you know, so. Anyway, we had a lot of fun. She was a really cool nun and we built a good relationship. Really cool lady. And we, we, we kept in touch as well. She's really cool. Anyway, uh, there was a common thing of Korean actor. People thought I was this Korean actor and they kept, they kept saying and some people actually thought I was this guy and, I, and they couldn't tell me who it was. And then finally, I met an American who was working in Philippines and she said, she goes, oh, my staff watch Korean soap opera. There's a Korean soap opera actor, he looks like you, and I didn't believe it, and she showed me, she showed me on her phone. And it's Joe Insung. So, wh whatever, you know, whatever that's worth, but people thought I looked like Joe Insung. So, anyway. That was, that's where that joke comes from. So, if you watch the series, you know, I'm often talking about it, and people are even Korean actor? Whatever. I'm Chinese, you know, so it doesn't matter. Um, but, you know, i got Korean friends. No problem with Koreans. And uh, there are a lot of Koreans in Philippines, so. International students, tourists, you name it. Okay, keep going. Um, mano or pag mamano, so I guess mano is the shorthand, is when you get the hand and you put it to your head and it's you're asking for blessings, usually from your elders, right? Or you want to accept a blessing from your elders. So I was in Dumaguete and then I, <laughs> I, was in, I was in a restaurant and I was just talking to the staff and all these older ladies. So I assume they're like the managers or whatever. And I went up to them and I'm paying respect. And then people were laughing, you know, and I went, oh, okay, whatever, you know, I'm, Maybe because they even said people don't really do that anymore. It's a bit old-fashioned, but it's nice you do it. And then this girl came up to me and said, "Cause <laughs> so I went to the toilet. I went to the CR. So I went to the CR, and they're laughing. I went, whatever, they, whatever. And I came back. You know, sat back down, and they said, "How come you paid respect to the old ladies?" I said, "Because the old ladies. Maybe it's the manager." And then she came up to me, the the main old one, and she said, "Sir, do you know what my job is?" I go, "What?" She goes, "I'm the CR cleaning lady." <laughs> She's the toilet cleaner, you know? I went, oh, okay. And I went, well, so what? She goes, how did you like the toilet? I said, it was really clean. I said, it was really good. She goes, see, I'm very good at my job, showing off, you know, and everyone's laughing, like the staff, there's customers, they're all laughing. And uh, so it was really great. We all had a good laugh, but they were like, you know, how come you're paying respect to the cleaning lady? No one pays respect to her. And I said, well, you should, you know, she's an old lady, she works hard, you should have some respect, you know? But anyway. So it all worked out, but you know, cultural differences. Anyway, um, stomach bug. Stomach bug is slang in Australia. So we often say, oh, I've got a bad stomach. I've got a stomach bug. And I kept saying that in Philippines and I was like, oh, I've got a stomach bug. Oh, no, I can't, I can't go out tonight, you know? And then my friend, he, you know, he's, he's a nurse and he's like, man, what is this bug that went inside you and went in your stomach? Is it like spider? Because you're from Australia, you have many spiders there, you know? I was like, oh, brother, it's slang, you know, stomach bug means bad stomach, like gastro or uh, food poisoning. He's oh, okay, 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 oh, he gets it now. But he's like, man, I thought, you're crazy, in Australia, bugs go in and attack your stomach, what is this, you know, science fiction movie? But yeah, again, different interpretation, you know, cultural differences, but cool guy, you know, cool guy, it was all good. Um, menstruation. <laughs> this one killed me, man. You know, uh, Shorthand, they say mens. I like that. Seth and Lynn, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, I like that. You know, so shorthand, they say mens, meaning short for menstruation. And we don't really say that in Australia. Like, I think it's the same in America, but it's a very technical medical term. Usually we say period, or we say it a bit more carefully, like, oh, I'm not feeling well, it's that time of the month, or it's my moons. Moons is an old one. Like meaning once a month there's a full moon, so you say oh, anyway. Well, so yeah, we don't really say menstruation, you know. So 
It happened a few times, but anyway, so this girl, I, I gotta explain it because otherwise you're like, what's he, why is he laughing so much? It was so funny. This girl comes up to me, beautiful little Filipina. I think she was beside, but I was in Manila. I was sitting around with these girls and you're like, you know how it is when you go to Philippines, you'll see like, you know, the staff sitting around near the, near the counters and even if it's a quiet day, they'll come talk to you. They're very friendly. So all these girls coming up and talk to me and you know, they're sitting around. And this one girl comes up and, and um, I said, oh, hello. And she goes, sir, she comes up to my table, sir, menstruation. I went, you know, I didn't want to be rude. I went, oh, okay. Um, okay, all right. Let's see again, you know, and then she goes, okay. And then she leaves, you know. See again means like go. It can mean like, okay, but it can mean go as well. I'm like, okay, go. I'm like, girls, what was that? You know? And they said, sir, is that not correct English? Menstruation. She has menstruation. I said, yeah, but we don't usually go around telling people. <laughs> you know, we don't usually go up to a customer's table and tell them, but you know, thank, thank you for telling me. And then that's when I explained, you know, usually we would just say, look, I'm not feeling well. So she was trying to say, I'm not feeling well. That's why I'm not going to come talk to you, you know, or that's why I'm, I'm busy with my, my own duties and you know, whatever. So I said, yeah, it's okay. I understand. But <laughs> that was full on. Can you imagine you're sitting there, a girl comes up, menstruation. Anyway, uh, you know, moving on. Um, but it's normal. My point is it's normal. You know, they just say men's, ah, men's, you know, on their period like that. <laughs> restaurants. I went to a restaurant, really cool restaurant, El Chupacabra in Makati. You can see the videos of like filmed it twice. And um, it was so funny. I, and I love that restaurant, by the way. And this waitress, I think she was having a bad day, comes up, sir, give me your order. And I was like trying to tell her. And then she's like, sir, I don't understand what you're saying. We have burger. And I went, oh, okay. Is that like the special? She goes, yes, we have special burger. Burger is special. And I went, oh, okay. Uh, I'll get the burger and then she goes do you want tea and I went and I was I'm kind of new to the Philippines at that time and I, and I went tea like black tea because we drink a lot of hot English English tea in Australia like black tea I said uh, hot tea yeah, black tea she goes sir tea is tea why are you asking a question and I went oh well, I said do you have green tea you like is that what you mean hot I thought you meant hot tea sir tea is tea stop causing trouble I went oh she's like she's getting upset I went, oh I was with an American, my American friend, this American lady. And she was like, oh, Brendan, I think you're upsetting her. Maybe <laughs> stop asking questions. I said, so the burger you said is special. Why is it special? Uh, <laughs> and she's getting, she's getting ticked off now. She's like, why are you asking special burger is special? <laughs> I'm like, is it, is it, what meat is it? Is it a chicken burger or is it like a fillet of fish? You know, what's, what's inside it? Burger is bread, burger is meat, you put together, we call burger, eat burger. <laughs> Stop asking questions, troublemaker. I went, oh, my. oh my goodness, you know, she's getting ticked off, you know. Hmm. She goes to the kitchen and Pinoy point with their lips, they go. They she's at, looking at me from the kitchen. Oh, so she's like, you know, like offended or something. And she's talking to the chef, you know. And he's looking at me and going, waving, going, Sir, are you okay? Did, did something happen? I just said, oh, no, no, everything's fine. And then um, she comes back. She, she's talking to the chef. So she comes back. She goes, I talked to chef. He say, it's pork burger. We put pork, we put on bread. We call it hamburger. <laughs> I said, that's okay. I know what a hamburger is. Okay. Pork. I love it. Beautiful. <laughs> she goes to the kitchen again. <laughs> They're giving me bad looks. And then she comes back. Again, I'm talking with my American friend. We're having our iced teas. Oh, so she brings out the iced tea. I went, oh, it's iced tea. She goes, yes, tea is tea. What do you expect? Drink it. No. Oh. <laughs> She's getting really upset with me. So we're drinking our iced tea. And then she comes back later. Like just a few minutes later. And she goes, sir, your burger has now changed to a beef burger. And I went, oh, okay. And she goes, we ran out of pork. And I went, eee. I went, see, see why I asked what, what type of meat it is, you know? And she goes, hmm. I don't care. <laughs> and she goes to the kitchen. There's a little cultural tip there. They point with their lips. They... She kept giving me this dirty look. But anyway, we had a good laugh. It was fun. I gave her a tip. You know, it was fun. Anyway, and the last one I'll finish up with uh, accents. So as you can tell, I have Australian accent. I really had to modify it in Philippines uh, a lot, especially in the Visayas. It wasn't a problem. So one, I'm happy to learn Visayan or Cebuano. 
it's the same thing, just depends on what region you're from. So I'm happy to learn the local language and dialect, but um, it, it caused problems, you know? So I'll give you a good example. This, this one killed me, right? Killed the staff too. So we're at a hotel in Cebu, you know, traveling through. And um, I, I didn't want to film it because the, the staff got a bit embarrassed, but you know, we just got to the hotel, I'm sweaty. We put the bags down, we just checked in, everything's cool. I'm traveling with some Filipino friends. And so this is after the wedding, after Dumaguete and I, after the, anyway. After Dumaguete, we went to Cebu together and then they went their way and I went mine. So anyway, you know, I went downstairs because we, because we're three, group of three in this uh, room, in, you know, shared room. So husband and wife had one bed and I had the other. And we're all hot and sweaty and they're using the shower. And we ran out of towels. So I go downstairs and I talk to the reception. I said, hey, Dai, you know, Dai's like, girl, you know, Dai, I need a towel. And she goes, sir? I said, I need a towel. And she goes, sir, no, no, no tower. This is hotel, hotel, no tower. I said, no, I want a towel. I want to have a shower, you know, shower, shower. I'm doing hand signals, you know. She goes, sir, no, no, this is not shower. This is hotel, hotel. I said, no, I want a towel so I can have a shower. She goes, no, no, no tower. You mean tower, Cebu City, Cebu City, the tower? No, I I want a towel so I can have a shower. And we, we went through this for a while, right? So I went, okay, okay, stop, stop. Pen, writing pen, pen. She goes, oh, you, you want to write? You want to write? I said, yeah, just, say, okay, come on, give me a pen. She's okay. She gives me a pen and paper and I write towel, right? Towel like that. I write the word towel. And she goes, oh, sir, towel. You want a towel to have shower? Oh. Okay, sure. So the manager comes out now. We've called such a fuss. The manager comes out, beautiful Filipina too. You know, she comes out and, mm. and she's like, what's going on? Why is this all this commotion? And then they, they talk the sign. Da, 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 da. Oh, he wants a towel. And he's talking about tower. And she says, sir, I can understand. You just talk to me and I'll take care of everything. And she was very cool. She took care of everything from there. And Dai's laughing. She's like, he, he, he's a talks funny. So I got, got me my towel. And then she said, sir, where are you from? I said, why? She says, you speak English very bad. You should... <laughs> Your English is very bad. You know, where are you from? I said, Nung Australia, Australiano. You know, I'm from Australia. She's, oh. <laughs> and that's why we're all laughing. So the manager was, she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Are you upset? I said, no, no, it's really funny. But I was like, you know, just teasing the, the staff member. But she was really funny too. She, we all just couldn't stop laughing. It's like, sir, you speak so funny, oh, 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 your accent. So that's why I had to even put on an American accent. I'm not kidding. Because I learned American English in school. They watch American TV and whatever. So as simple as, okay, I would like a towel so I can have a shower. You know, like that. And then she, oh, okay. You know, and then don't understand. So there you go. So there's some funny stories for you. A few little travel tips as well. Um, just to recap, guys, the first video, the very first was post... Um, Post-travel depression, very serious subject, okay? It can happen to anyone, all right? No one is immune. Um, use the tips that work for you and hopefully it can help you or someone else who might suffer from it. It might not be now, it might be later, okay? Please check out the re-release of the Vietnam series, okay? Little director's cut. It's gonna have more information, more helpful tips and whatever. Again, sorry about the shaky camera. It can't be helped. Uh, there's a new series of Filipinos in Australia I will be releasing, okay? So keep checking back to the channel. You'll see my life with my Filipino friends in Australia and you'll see Filipinos in Australia, um, which, is, which is great. Um, also, again, thank you so much, guys, for hitting 3,000 subscribers. It's just a snapshot in time. You know what? Because I don't usually talk about it, it's time we start talking about it. I'm trying to grow the channel. We're trying to get bigger and better. So let's go for 10K. Yeah. I'm serious. Let's go for 10,000 subscribers. Let's do it. Okay. We can do it together. We've gotten 3K so far. You can share it, get people involved, whatever. You know, let's do it. I'm just saying, let's aim for 10K. But anyway, long story short, guys, I do it for you. Okay. These are free videos. It's not about my ego or whatever. It's, it's for you to entertain all of you guys and hopefully maybe offer something that can be helpful or educational as well. So sometimes. Okay, so that's why it's so important. You know, I need to know that you guys are supporting this channel and it's worth me continuing making videos. If it goes really well, if we can hit 10K as soon as possible, 
I will make another travel series. Okay? So I'm going to make another video about that too. But if we can hit 10k, I will for sure make a travel series, all right? And you guys put in the comments below, you know, where do you want me to go? You want me to go to Philippines again or you want this and that? You know, obviously the more feedback I get, the better. All right? So again, why it's so important to have more subscribers so I can get that feedback. I know what you guys like and what you want to see. All right? 10k. Race to 10k. <laughs> Hopefully I'm annotating it. <laughs> 10k. Race to 10k. Let's do it. And I'll make another travel series. All right? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. These videos have been a bit longer, but really important subject. And, you know, again, thank you to all of you, the subscribers, the viewers who are not subscribed, the partners and, um, you know, collaborators uh, and all the supporters, okay? Thank you so much, guys. All right? Take care and travel safe. Oh, oh. and lastly, before I forget, check out obviously the YouTube main page, my YouTube channel, believe it or not, some people find these videos outside of YouTube. Um, so try not to support that, come, come to actual YouTube or use the YouTube platform. And also Facebook, check me out on Facebook. You can check out my, my channel page and you can see more pictures and comments and all that sort of stuff. So thanks for watching guys.